And uh, now in Mashhad, the holy city of Mashhad, the home of uh, the eighth Imam of Shia Islam. And as you can see, the people have uh, been actually chanting slogans. People are angry. They are very angry at this act of terrorism that has taken place against their heroes, against the heroes of the region, against the heroes, those who fought against terrorism, those who stop uh, the ones from beheading others. We remember the scenes of Daesh when they first started and the scenes that were coming out of Syria and Iraq, and it's what speed they were taking over the country of Iraq. It was General Soleimani and others who actually got involved and devised plans in order to stop these terrorists from taking over these countries. So they are well-loved. These are revered individuals, and the people have come out to show just a little of that love and that respect, and at the same time, the anger and uh, saying, uh, actually, they've come out and saying slogans, death to America, over and over because of what the American regime has done, that they have illegally targeted a national figure, a military figure, the highest military figure in the country, in another country totally ignoring international law. And really, the people do not want this to go unanswered. Uh, I was talking to many analysts over the last couple of days, and some of them were saying that basically Iran must actually um, defend itself and must retaliate for these attacks, um, because otherwise uh, then the uh, as far as being able to reestablish peace in this region, it will never happen. If you have terrorists, whether they come in the name of Daesh or whether they come in the name of uh, politicians from Washington, D.C., you cannot allow terrorists to just do whatever they want in your region. So uh, you're looking, though, right now at the procession that has taken place and at the ceremony now that has taken place in the city of Mashhad in Iran. Bringing you up to date on a few different things that have taken place. Also, um, we know that the um, uh, from the Iraqi side of things, the Iraqi Parliament um, has voted to um, Americans um, basically voted on resolution um, that the government has called for the end of foreign troops' presence in Iraq. Again, to an end to the troops' presence in Iraq, specifically Americans. Um, so we will see exactly what that will entail. Of course, we heard earlier from Sayyid Hassan Nasrullah, the Secretary General of the Resistance Movement, uh, Hezbollah, um, and he said that the proud people of Iraq, of course, um, would uh, make sure that the American presence is ended in Iraq. That's the only way that they can have sovereignty in their own country. Um, he made many points about America's presence, United States presence in the region, and the goals of uh, the presence. And he said, we had seen in the last few months um, their goal of creating division between Iran, between Iraq, and also within Iraq itself. And as always, they have destabilization techniques in order for them to get greater control of an area, region, natural resource, um, and to stop the growth. The main thing was to stop the advancement of the resistance. Um, the resistance, whether we're talking about what has happened in Syria, whether we're talking about in Lebanon against the Israelis, whether we're talking about in Iraq or other places,